I really hope I'm not the only one that was wondering what was in that food that Belle was eating in this episode. Like, did you hear the sound? Those sandwiches made or whatever they were? That sounded like fucking cardboard being bitten into. Like, did you hear that? That, that sounded like Belle was eating cardboard. It's like, <laughs> fucking cracking. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> like, I, I really want to know. Like, I bet that wasn't tasty at all. Like, whoever made that, I think that it was probably Hestia that made that. If Belle made that, Belle... No. But, the point is, is just that that sound of the food was just like, what the fuck? It was just so out there because I didn't expect to see some form of cardboard being bitten into. I, I know this is, you know, like, very weird to be talking about when it comes to an episode review of Dungeon Girl, but I just had to mention that because that sound, man, just like, oh, like, oh my god, like, no, no, no. Okay, this episode of Dungeon Girl. Hestia, once again, proving why she is amazing, and as always, I got more fan art when it comes to Hestia. Last week, around last week, probably around, like, Monday, Saturday, or Sunday, somewhere around in there, I posted a picture on my Twitter, and I was sent this picture, by the way, I didn't make it, I, it was sent to me, and then I posted it on the Twitter just to show everybody else, and I wanted to show it now, there was a Gilgamesh Hestia. There was a fucking Gilgamesh Hestia. Like, oh my god, my eyes, my fucking eyes! Stop! Stop! Like, oh my god! So, holy shit! Like, I've seen some shit! Okay, so that's, that, let's move on to the point of this episode. This episode of Dungeon Girl. For the most part, the episode, I guess you could say... It's building up the drama that was set up with last week's episode with the Soma Familia. You have it to where we find out that they're not really worshipping their god, their Kami-sama. They're worshipping wine, so to say, from what we can understand from this episode. So, they're a bunch of alcoholics. They're... The Familia is a bunch of alcoholics. That's what they are. I and, mean, you know, our little familiar girl, our little Nekomimi, she's gotten into this guild, you know, this Familia, and not really realizing how bad they are. I and mean, they're just wanting money out of her just to be able to buy their alcohol, their wine. So it's kind of fucked up. We kind of find out that the Familia is bad, which goes to play with what I said in last week's episode of Dungeon Girl. I said that most likely, judging by the way the drama is and how it was done, how this girl was introduced, she's going to be a very important character later on. She's going to be one of the main support pillars of the characters in the series, and she's probably going to join Hestia's Familia. And so to see that, you know for a fact she's probably going to join the Familia with Belle and stuff like that. But I was wondering how would she join because we heard that the Familia, the Soma Familia wasn't doing that good. You know, they were wanting money and stuff like that. They are very desperate. But to see now after this episode, we get to see the root of the problem. They're just eating up all their money because they're buying a lot of alcohol. Now, we don't know necessarily if this problem is around the entirety of the Familia, or if it's a select group that is just buying nothing but alcohol. We have no idea, but that's what we can assume from the episode. So, judging by the way that was done and how that was introduced this episode, especially with how our new female character was introduced and how she was getting kind of abused in this episode, you can assume she's going to join Belle's, you know, Familia and Hestia's Familia and be a part of their group because that that's what it's leading to. It's definitely leading to that. This little arc that we're getting into is leading towards that conclusion. So there's the end game of this little mini arc we have right now. Overall, when it comes to the setup of it, I'm enjoying it a lot and Dungeon Girl is so highly enjoyable. I, I've said this in my past couple of reviews. It's such an enjoyable series, even though I know this is so fucking cliche and it's nothing or like 100% original to where it's groundbreaking. Like I said that last week. I know it's nothing groundbreaking, I know it's cliche, but for some reason, I fucking love this series. I, I don't understand. I, I can't understand. I don't know. Usually, I would hate a series like this. I would. Usually, I couldn't stand a series like this, and I usually would most likely drop it. I would, majority of the time. But I cannot believe I am enjoying this series like 
this. I, I don't know what this series is doing. I hope I could find out very soon. But whatever it is, it's giving me a lot of entertainment. And as I said... This series, by far, is probably giving me the most entertainment when it comes to Anime Weekly. One of them. Because this right here is just so enjoyable. Getting to see the characters, the interactions, getting to see how Bell is progressing as a character, how he's getting stronger, especially learning magic. You know, just so many different things I'm really wanting to know more about. And it really drives me to continue watching this series. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because the way the cliches are being used that it's just, it feels so right. Maybe it's because it has certain elements even though I know it's a cliche it's using them in a proper fashion where you can truly enjoy it and you can just get attached to the characters like I'm already getting very attached to Belle, Hestia, or Brestia as some of you call them in the comments and I, that that's a funny name by the way Brestia <laughs> that, that's fucking great or Bestia Bestia Brestia Big Lolly Boobs or Lolly Big Boobs that, that's how she said or Lolly Opie just overall the names, the Hestia fan base, the series, it's just it's so fun to actually watch weekly. And now I'm seeing why there's so much fan art. But my god, that Gilgamesh, like, you, you've already, poor Vegeta, poor Piccolo. Yeah, I've even been turned into Hestia. Like, I, I saw that fan art. Like, I, I showed it in the thumbnail. I showed it in the thumbnail, you know, yesterday when I made that thank you video. That, that, in the thumbnail, that was me as a fan art with Hestia on. So, the Hestia fandom is crazy, so I want to issue a challenge. If anyone is a good artist in our community, which I know we have quite a few artists, if you're a good artist in our community, I challenge one of you all to either make a Gintoki from Gintama Hestia fan art or an Archer fan art from Fate Stay Night. I, I challenge any of you to make something like that, and I'll display it in the next week's video review of Dungeon Girl. I, I will do that, I promise you right now. I will choose to select a few, maybe I might, if there's a bunch of them and I can fit all of them, I will. I will show a lot of them in the next week's review of Dungeon Girl. So, yeah, Gintoki or Archer. I, I just want to see, because this is actually going to be an experiment. Judging by how it's done, I might do this in future videos with different reviews and stuff. But that is an experiment. So, anyways, you all have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.